Hello and welcome to a new video. So at the end of the last video, I was 95 strength and 80 attack. So I trained 80 to 85 attack on all three accounts and got all the way up to 98 strength. I'm 100k off 99 on all three accounts now. Now I decided to get some mage levels. So I just splashed in the Lumbridge basement. I used this gear because I don't have any range levels yet. I can't use membraces, so I have to use the tox cat kill because it's a little bit less magic accuracy uh, even more negative magic accuracy than a kite shield also i always use the best spell for splashing magic so just do that if you want to get it fast and the pro tip is mist and dust battle staffs are basically the same as smoke battle staff for fire spells and they're super cheap so you can switch to each spell by only having the base rune I'm doing um, Earth Wave currently, and I'll. I think I won't do search spells. I have to look at the prices again, but I don't think that they are worth it. But I'll check it out later on. So the next thing I want to do now that I have like 70 mage on all the accounts is to get like 70 range, so I can actually use a Carol's top uh, for bossing. So since I want to train some range on the three accounts, I'm trading each account 50 mil more. So I have a total of 150 mil traded to all three accounts so far. But I haven't used all of that money. Actually, if you look at the bank and I put everything in, you can see 102 mil are still here. So I'd used a total of 48 mil to train those stats. Actually, I'm not sure where I used most of the money, but I clearly used some money for prayer, then also used quite a bit for potions and for Nightmare Zone rounds. And there's probably still like 2 mil in the Nightmare Zone coffer. And maybe some prices went down. Who knows? But with that strategy, we can easily figure out how much money I spent on the alts in the end. And everybody who's going to make himself one with the same strategy knows how much money you have to put in. So I bought myself some basic range gear to go to sand crabs, but because I'm already over 75 hit points, I can use the necklace of anguish from level one, then some iron knives to get to level five and then some steel darts all the way to level 50. Also some other gear to switch it up once I'm a higher range level so I can get better XP per hour. But we also have to imbue our ring. By the way, there are my other two accounts, exactly the same thing on those two. So now I have imbued archer ring and I'm ready for sand crabs. So I'll see you back probably at 50 range. So I got all the way up to 42 range. I used around 5.5k steel darts. By the way, they're the same as iron knives, but cheaper and around 100 iron knives, 43 range now. I want to do the quests now. By the way, this took me around two and a half hours. So if you only have one account to train, getting yourself a cannon and just cannoning it at rock crabs is a lot more advisable than doing it at sand crabs. But I want to get myself the Avis accumulator now or the attractor first and upgrade it to the accumulator later on because I'm kind of in the mood to do some questing. So I need at least 18 Slayer for the Avis accumulator. So I went to Neve on all three accounts and got myself a task on all of them. I got Black Demons on here, Cal Fights on another one and Ankus on the third one. All three of those tasks are easily doable in this melee gear if you just pray and I just need to do some kills so I can get myself 18 Slayer. Will be done really quickly. So I just hit level 18 Slayer on the third of the three accounts. Black Demons were the slowest task because I first had to get the key. So Call Fights were the fastest, Anku the second and Black Demons the burst for a task to get to 18 Slayer. But now I think I have all the requirements for all the quests. So let's do all the easy ones first. First quest, Restless Ghost is done on all three of the Ernest the Chicken is done now too. By the way, pro tip for quests where you need to collect items from the ground. If you do it on several accounts at the same time, do it in different worlds. Otherwise you have to wait a minute for each item to respawn. And for a quest like Ernest the Chicken, that like doubles the time it takes. So I just finished the Priest in Peril quest on all three of the accounts. Um, now, after you do Priest in Peril, you always have to unlock the way to Mortania. So just go to this door, talk to him again, 
otherwise you can't use teleports to Mortenia and the Fenton Strain Castle teleport is really helpful for the Avis Accumulator quest. So I finished the Animal Magnetism quest which is really nice. So now I have the Avis Attractor on all three of the accounts. Also got myself some Slayer Fletching and Woodcutting levels so the total level on the accounts is around 720 now which is really nice. So now the next goal is to get up my range and to get myself a full void set. So first I think I will get like 50 range at Sand Crabs but then I will go with melee uh, to pass control and get myself a full void set. So I didn't do what I said in the last clip, but I got myself the full void set. So I just finished the 860 points at pass control. The first 680 points I did on all three accounts at the same time on Sunday. So I got like 2k pass control points on Sunday, which was crazy. But now during the week, I'm not feeling like doing pass control on three accounts because that's really stressful. And I'm watching the new Theater of Blood stuff. So uh, let's buy myself the full void set. That's 250 points uh, for the bottoms. 250 points for the top. That's by far one of the best feelings if you gather all the points. Um, then the range helm, of course. So, and then the last piece, where's the Void Knight? He's here, or she is. And the last piece I need are the Void Gloves. I also got 10 points too much because I didn't look at the screen at how many points I have. So, Void Range set unlocked on the first of the three accounts. The other two accounts need like one hour, one hour and 10 minutes more of pass control. It's about 140 points an hour in the best boat if you do it so on one account. And I think when I did it on all three accounts, I was maybe averaging 120 because sometimes you're not able to keep up the activity bar because you forget about one of the three accounts. Because I was also playing three other accounts on the side because I didn't want to waste the XP. But overall, really happy that I finished Void Set on the first of the three accounts. So I decided to go for some range training right away. So I will go to Sand Crabs and my setup is Rune Arrows with a U short bow, full void. I only have the snake skin boots. I need to trade myself more money for ranger boots or pegasians later on because they're like 36 mil or something and I only have like 29 on here. And still the Avis Attractor looks kind of weird but it's actually better than knives and rune arrows aren't really expensive. They're only like 72 GP each or 73 GP each. Lol, 73. So not too expensive and a lot better. By the way, once I reach level 50 range, I can use my magic shortbow eye. You just buy an imbue scroll, magic shortbow, and you get a magic shortbow that's better than normal magic shortbow. And as far as I know, it's the best range XP up to level 75 if you don't want to go chinning and if you don't want to use a cannon. So this right here is the last piece on the second account. I also went for 850 points, just bought the first three pieces, now got the fourth one. And now I need to finish um, the mini game on Michael's by the way still, but that's nice. So I'll go train range on here as well. 850 points achieved on the third of the three accounts. So now I have a full range void on all three accounts, which is nice. So I can train my range to 75 now. And then I decide if I want to go for more melee training or more range. So right here, I'm about to hit level 75 range on the third of the three accounts. So I already hit it on two other ones. Took me quite some time, like 30 hours of sand crabs from 42, I would say. It's not super fast. It's a bit over 40k an hour at the higher levels. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't attack the sand crabs constantly because sometimes I for you forget to reset for a minute or two. So now I can get to train range in Nightmare Zone with a blowpipe, which is a lot better. So I decided to put 50 mil more on each of the accounts. So each account has 200 mil supply now. This is so I can buy myself a blowpipe, darts and scales and pegation boots for range training. 
But you also have to remember, I always pay the membership with the money I put on the accounts because that way we can track how much making an account plus the membership costs. Because it's really important that we include that as well because when you make alts you don't want to pay with your credit card. So to get 99 range from 75 I bought this setup right here. So upgrades are pigation boots, the blowpipe of course, really important. And the Avis accumulator, I also did that upgrade. I could have done that at 50, but I stayed at sand crabs from 42 to 75. By the way, I used 11k rune arrows for everybody who's interested in that, which costs around 800k, so not too much. Blow piping will be a lot more expensive. So now I'm going to blow pipe to 99 range on all three accounts with this setup. The Nightmare Zone bosses I am going to choose are the same ones I chose for melee. Probably there are better ones, but I can't be asked questing. So I just wanted to reset for the range training after I locked in again on Michael Snoop. And I was like, what? I'm 99 strength? And I even got 200k too much. And then I thought, what happened? So I know now know, I think, what happened. After I went training range, I did that on Rapid. And until each of the accounts got 75 range, I went back into Nightmare Zone and I forgot to change to attack. So I'm already 99 strength on here. So that means I'll get 99 strength on the other two accounts as well. Just in Nightmare Zone, it's only 99 strength. I have it more than 10 times on old school RuneScape, so who cares? And then I can get myself the 99 strength cape on all three accounts, which is really nice. So I just hit level 99 strength, but while I hit it, the church bell was ringing and I can't record when that fucking thing is ringing because then you can hear it. And I don't like that. So now I'll get myself the cape on all three accounts. Really nice. So here it is, the first skill cape on the three accounts. So really fucking nice. I can equip it on all three of them. And then it's emote time. So let's do the emote on here. Let's do it on here. And let's do it on here. And this looks fucking nice. So I just went to Lumbridge to take a thumbnail with my two other accounts. And to check out how much time I spent on those accounts so far. So I spent 14 days and 16 hours, which is quite a lot. I think that comes to an average of like 5 or 6 hours a day. Yeah, I AFK them quite a lot. It's really easy to AFK Nightmare Zone. So I got all the way up to 99 strength, 87 attack, 75 defense. The other two accounts have 88 attack, only 70k away here from 88. Also got to 82 range, which is really nice. And on here it's only 68 mage. The other ones have 72 and 69. So also the best weekend I had, I gained over two mil strength XP. That was really no life thing for me. So have a look at this beautiful experience rates here. By the way, it's like 80K an hour, I think in Nightmare Zone, but I didn't refresh it for the full weekend. So it was like 40K then per hour because of nearly half of the time I was able to AFK the three accounts. So that's everything for this video. Remember to join my CC, really cool CC, Michael's first. So join it, come in. Since I didn't plug it the last three videos or so, the amount of people went down a bit, but there's still like 10 people in there of which I am three at the moment. Yeah, sometimes you can see like seven of my accounts in here, which is kind of cool probably. So. What's there as well? I will be streaming on Twitch right after this video is live. Link in the description and link on the first comment. So come join in and watch me there if you want to. Thanks for watching. Thanks and bye.